Hello good people, it's Rob Lee. I want to do a video for you in light of something that happened on the channel and I didn't bring any attention to it. Somebody left a link on the channel and I went ahead and I clicked on it just to see. I was curious about it. My wife happens to think highly of, of this person so I thought I would watch the link. All right. It was devilish and it was of preaching and it was talking about worshiping in spirit and truth. And now the whole time I'm thinking, this person who's le left the link, how can you possibly watch something that talks about worshiping in spirit and truth when the people that the people that were doing the video are of the devil? If they don't know who true Israel is, how can you garner any knowledge from it? How can they be of the Father? And they kept mentioning the same satanic pastor over and over, and I kept thinking it's mind blowing. And then they had the actual the demonic markings in the video. And to the young woman named Charming Danger, listen to me, listen to me, young lady, when, regardless of what anybody tells you, when you go to a video and it has a pyramid with an eye in it, leave the video, go the other way. You see, time is getting short and the devil is going after it hard, man. The monsters are going after you because they know that you have, most of you have an addiction and it is the need to be entertained. And this is what has happened in the in this age with the technology. People have become addicts, technological addicts, man. They need the TV. They need the Internet. It's the same thing that happened in the 80s and 90s with the radio. Listen to what I'm going to tell you, people. Until you can really understand what witchcraft is, how it works, and how serious it is, and that the, the Almighty Father told us over and over, he prepared us for the spiritual war that we would be in, that demonic beings would attack us. A girl on the channel, Laura, made one of the brightest comments I've heard of anybody say in a long time. In the last video I did, she said she wouldn't even do the hand signs of the devils because she didn't know what it would attract. And I thought, wow, the father had to really put that comment in her and put that knowledge in her for her to understand that. The monsters that you're dealing with, folks, are habitual liars. They are evil. They, they can be, they can never be nothing else. Why would you want to watch or partake of anything that they do? What will you say to Jesus Christ when you go before him and you have to tell him, I loved you, I professed your name, but, you know, I just never could really uh, get away from watching the devil. I never could get away from listening to the devil. I just had to have the devil. Yeah, I know I loved you, Jesus, but I just had to have the devil. I had to have that TV. I had to have the internet. I just couldn't get away from it. It's called being double-minded. And as Paul said, it's called loving Jesus with your mouth. You see, you love him with your mouth, but you're always looking for a loophole. These are the same monsters that brought you the bullshit about a rapture. That everybody's going to be whisked away when Matthew... 24, 21, Mark 13 tells us, you ain't going no place. That's why time would be shortened. These are the same monsters that brought you the biggest lie called the rapture. That right now there are hundreds of millions of Christians across this world that actually believe they're going to be, the church is going to be wixed away. Folks, you got to understand the enemy that you're dealing with here. The rapture, and I'm just going to just going to make this quick, was by a woman named Margaret McDonald. It came from Babylon. Get it, Margaret McDonald, 33, three and one third. These are the monsters that teach you that the people that are supposed to be Israel in the Bible, okay, are supposed to be God's chosen. Yet this is not the truth. Why would you trust them with anything? Why would you Why would you watch one video? Why would you watch one movie if they don't know the truth? These are the same people that have taken your jobs and shipped them overseas to India, Mexico, China. 75% of the stuff in your house and your apartment right now is made overseas. These are the people that, that you are willing to watch on TV because you feel the need to be entertained. I'm going to show you what's behind, behind the mask. This is what you watch every time that you watch one of these monsters on TV or the internet. This is what you're really watching. These are the same monsters that have stole trillions of dollars from you. Not billions, people, but trillions. You were probably owed, even the average person, between fifty dollars to $100,000 in what they have stolen from you. These are the people that brought you 9-11 and then danced about it, laughed about it, and they 
and, and then they gave you the Patriot Act and stole more of your rights. These are the people that they put on TV, another dancing puppet, and they mock you right, right to your face, 13, right in your face, one third. These are the people that bring you Hollywood, the most filth and nasty, putrid, vile crap there is. They give it to you, but yet you continue to watch them, and many of you know the truth about what they are, but you have to be entertained. These are the people that put the demons up in the sky for you, everywhere. These are the people that give you the pills, a medicated and fluoridated, doped up country. These are the people that have put in place the technology to control you and take, until you take your last breath, unless you really, really set yourself free through Jesus the Christ. These are the people that censor you, that they censor the truth. You can't go to a channel. In April of 2017, Google changed everything. The internet changed. Google hired 10,000 people. They changed the algorithms. The only place on YouTube telling the truth are the small channels. The big channels work for the devil, but yet you keep going to them. I got to have it. You are being, you're being put under a spell of witchcraft. This is the last video I'm going to do about this, man. And I'm going to let the father let it fall on the ears that he chooses. You're going to find out, people, that you can't... When, you, when you're around people and there's a, a mass, you're in the wrong place. When there's masses of people that are watching videos or crowds or movies or whatever, to truly be of the flock of Jesus Christ, you're going to be a tiny, tiny minority. A tiny minority. These are the devils that they murder... They pillage, they destroy, and it's all they know, and they have done it throughout history. Why would you watch them if you know what they do? I mean, if you know that's who they truly are, that they they, they murder and they, they kidnap and they starve innocent children, why in the hell would you watch them? Why? Here's what you're going to say. I need to be entertained. Well, listen, you will be entertained, and you will have to answer for your being entertained. I want to read something to you. This is from 1920. What worked so wonderfully in Russia is going to become a reality for the whole world. The American Hebrew Magazine, New York, September 10, 1920. What is it that many of you don't understand about 1 Timothy? 4.1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of what? devils television television churches the internet but you want to be entertained who's who's entertaining you mother freaking devils are entertaining you and yet you you eat it up here's john stewart there's the real john stewart look at his eyes man that's the real john stewart here's chris cuomo here's the real chris cuomo here's angelina jolie Here's, that's who they really are. You see, many of you, you have chain on. That's why I keep putting this picture in videos, and I don't know how many people actually get it. My message is that I think maybe some people actually get it. Most of you don't really understand the spiritual war, and I don't think you really understand what Ephesians 6 is talking about, about put on the whole armor of the Almighty Father, that you may be able to withstand the wiles, the tricks, the darts, the evil of the devil and of the evil spirits of this world. I don't think you really get it. So here, let's go to the video and let me show you what you really see. What's really being shown to you through movies, the internet, churches. This is what you're really looking at. All right, this is what you're really looking at. May the Father bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ.